How's it going to Forest TV? My name is Jack and welcome to my preview for Nottingham Forest versus Liverpool taking place at Anfield today. So, yeah, uh, our most difficult test until uh, date of the season. Um, obviously, we've played um, Bournemouth, Southampton and Wolves in the league and then a, a cup game against Newcastle. Uh, but this one, by far and away, is the most difficult of the ones we've played so far. Uh, against the side who have won every single game, they've not conceded a single goal. So it's we're going to have our work cut out. It's going to be a really difficult game. Um, yeah, we're going to have to be on our best if we want to try and get anything from this one. Uh, they've played Brentford, uh, Ipswich and Man United and they absolutely slaughtered Man United. Um, the, the midfield in, in, the, in the Man United game got absolutely hammered by the Liverpool midfield and they're, it's just their constant pressing, their, their high tempo. It's just... It, it, it You struggle so much to cope with it. And there were a few question marks when Arna Slot came in. They were thinking, people were thinking, you know, is he up for the level? Going in from Feyenoord. How's he gonna? How's he gonna do? Is he gonna be a, able to uh, handle the the squad and things like that? But so far, I know it's only only days, but he's looking really good and he's looking like he's doing all right. You know, you you go to Man United the first um, time you face them, you go to Old Trafford and you win, which is something that very rarely happens for Liverpool managers. So he's doing really well, Arne Schlott, and and he's he's had a really uh, good start to the campaign, considering the fact that they've made very little. Uh, signings they bought in Mamad Ashfili, but I think he might have been sent on loan somewhere. I'm not 100 percent sure on that. I don't know. They bought in Federico Chiesa, so they've got a really, really, uh, you know, and they, and they've had a really good start to the season, and we're gonna have to be on it if we want to try and get anything from this game. I'm not gonna be, uh, you know, deluded and think, oh yeah, we're definitely gonna get something from this one. How much I'd love for us to get something from this one, you know, I'd, I'd I've got a friend who supports Liverpool and. Uh, he would, uh, you know, he would never read the end of it if he won. He would never read the end of it if he won. So I'm hoping we can go ahead and do that today. If you look at our last few fixtures and against Liverpool in the Premier League um, since our return, we beat them on our first game at home. Tyro won. You scoring from close range at the City ground. Then it was 3 2 towards the back end of the campaign um, at Anfield. Second season, I think they beat us like 3 0 at, at Anfield with Matt Turner dropping an absolute howler. And then at home, uh, it was a very controversial 1 0 win to Liverpool. Um, I think it was in like April time uh, or March time. They uh, they scored in the 99th minute through Darwin Nunes, where we should have had the ball handed back to us because of an off, uh, not an offside, sorry, it was a head injury. We stopped the game. The referee or the referee made us stop the game, should have given us the ball back, gave it to Callahan. He went up the other end, they won a corner and scored from it. So hopefully nothing controversial like that happens today. and um, Or if it does, it goes in our favour. But yeah, look, in terms of this game, I mean, you look at it, and from a neutral point of view, you think, oh, another win for Liverpool there. And I think that might probably be the case. You know, if I get a point, I'll be really, really happy. Um, but it's going to be a really difficult one, and we're going to have our work seriously cut out in this one because... They look so, so good. Salah, he looks like a, a, a new man, a man possessed. Got a new trim and he looked absolutely on fire. Um, you know, Luis Diaz looks really, really good. Got him in my fancy team now, along with Salah and uh, Trent. Um, you know, I'm hoping that I kind of like put them in my fancy team. They have a stinker and we end up um, getting, getting a win, which would be amazing. But look. I'm going to be honest, it's going to be a difficult one for us. Uh, the, whatever we can get, we've got to be happy with. And um, I think we've really got to be on top of our game. I saw a video of a guy um, from Liverpool Wrapped or Anfield Wrapped, I think they're called. Um, or the Anfield Wrapped, something like that. I can't quite remember it. I just saw it on Twitter. He was being interviewed by another Forest content creator. And they asked him, like, how do you think we can get at Liverpool? Seeing as the fact they haven't conceded a single goal yet this campaign. And uh, they don't really give up many chances. And he said... Potentially set pieces could be somewhere that, that we could target. And if that's the case, then we've got to get um, James Ward Prowse on the pitch, um, a set piece specialist. We've really struggled from set pieces going forward and defensively over the uh, last season and maybe a little bit before that. So we really need to work on that, make sure that we're focusing on that and get James Ward Prowse on those corners, try and win as many corners as we can. I don't think we'll have many, but. Uh, if we get them, we've got to, we've got to make the most of them. We've got to take our chances. So hopefully, we can go ahead and uh, we can we can get the uh, get a goal or 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 cause some havoc, should I say, from a corner. And hopefully, we can uh, we can get something from that. 
Um, but yeah, look, I think if we're going to win, we're going to have to be really solid defensively. We're going to have to weather the storm a lot. I think the, um, Liverpool are going to come at us. They're going to they're going to make it difficult for us, and I, I think it's going to be a, it's going to be a difficult game. Don't get me wrong. So we're going to have to be on it defensively, and then and then be be able to take our chances when they come to us. I feel like with someone like Chris Wood, someone who is able to do that, who doesn't need many chances to put one in, in the back of the net. You, you look at some strikers and they have to have a couple of chances to warm themselves up before they, they start hitting it. Whereas Chris Wood, he needs one chance. I mean, against Bournemouth, he scored his only shot of the game. Um, so, you know, he, he doesn't need to get himself warmed up. He can just be there and be ready whenever it comes to him. So um, he's going to have to be on form for that. And uh, hopefully, you know, if we're going to get anything from it, it'll probably be uh, something that involves uh, uh, Ward Prowse and Chris Wood if they both do play. In terms of the starting eleven, then I'm going to go with. Uh... Sorry about that. Uh, Matt sells in goal. Uh, I'm going to go. I mean, I've seen someone on Twitter put a back five. I don't think we've gone for a back five uh, from the off so far this season. So that'll be an interesting one to see what they opt for in that. I think he's going to go four at the back. I feel like four at the back for me. So Williams at right back. Um, former Liverpool man, uh, two centre after I'll have Milinkovic and Murillo, left back Ola Aina, two in front of the back four, I'd have Ward Prowse and Sangare or Yates, one of the two. Uh, I know Elliot Anderson uh, will be really hard done by to be taken out the side, uh, but I think for this one, you know, our August player of the month, Elliot Anderson, I feel like for this one, you want Ward Prowse in there, so I'd, I'd, I'd go with him. Uh, in behind the strike, would have. Um, Morgan Gibbs White, the England's Morgan Gibbs White, was lovely to see him get a little bit of time on the on the pitch. Uh, I wanted to see him a bit more, but um, from a Forest point of view, it's good that he didn't pick up any injuries or anything. Uh, two wingers that have Hudson Doy and Anthony Alanga with Chris Wood through the middle. Score prediction: My heart says Forest one nil. We get a you know Liverpool get a corner late on. We get it away. Chris Wood's up there. Gibbs up there. Gibbs White takes it on, squares it across to Chris Wood, and he scores. Uh, right at the end, but my head's saying 2 0 Liverpool, to be honest with you. They just look too good. They've got such a good side. Um, their defence so composed. Um, Trent, Canate, Van Dyke, Robertson. Their midfield looked really good away at Old Trafford, and their front three could cause anyone havoc. So, yeah, 3 0, uh, sorry, 2 0 is what my head's saying, my heart's saying 1 0 Forest. But we will have to wait and see. So if you did enjoy this video, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And you have enjoyed today's video. Um, and yeah, come on, you Reds.